to another tutorial on Bucket. Um, now, this is actually a new permissions update video because the previous one um, doesn't actually work anymore. The, the, the permissions have been stopped. Um, so there's a new version of it now called Permissions Bucket, which is a different plugin, but it still works on a similar node system um, and using a .yml. So basically, I'm going to download it today, run it in a bucket server, set it up, and show you how to set it up so that you guys can play with it and set up your own servers too. Because um, obviously, on the previous video, the permissions one, we've had loads of viewers, um, way more than expected. It's been brilliant. Um, so yeah, thank you for for watching that, and you know if you can subscribe, like it will be much appreciated. So uh, without further ado, we'll get started. Now this link will actually be in the description below for you guys, um, but it's on the official Bucket website, um, and it's permissioned Bucket version 1.2. Um, so it gives you a bit of information about it, you know some of the, some of the features, things like that. Um, some of the configurations, you know, like the nodes and things that you're going to be using. But then at the bottom, it also has the downloads which we need. Um, so I think I might have already downloaded it. Have I? Um, no, I haven't. So now that's downloaded very, very quickly. Uh, we'll just go into our downloads and get it. Um, we'll drag that into our bucket server, into the plugins folder. And then we're going to run it. So this is my way of starting it. I'll be showing you how to start it like this in another episode. Um, and it should be starting now. No. No, it didn't start for some reason. Oh, there we go. That's why. Here it is. Um, so yeah, you can see that it started there now. So now that it's started, we should get another folder in here called Permissions Bucket, as you can see. So we'll stop this now. And that's stopped. So we can close that. Close. And we'll go into the config.yml. Um, and you can choose an application. It will work with most um, editors, text edits. We can use text edit, but you can also use things like Text Wrangler, um, which is like a coding program. Um, so you can see that it still gives you a basic introduction of what what the actual um, what the actual plugin does, and it helps you on how you can do, how you can like set it up. So as you can see, we've still got the users tab here, um, and we've also got the groups. Now it's already got a basic setup for you guys to use, which is brilliant because that's how I started it. Um, but then obviously you want to add your own stuff to it. So today. We're going to be changing this conspiracy wizard to spook811, which is my username. And permissions.example. Now, instead of that, we're going to put permissions.start. Actually, we're not even going to do that. We're going to remove that because we'll just have that in the actual admin um, category, which is this group. Um, so there's, there's really no need to put any permissions in there. Um, it's only if you've got a certain player that you want to have certain permissions that that will come into use. Um, so you can see we've got the default um, permissions build is false on the admin permissions star or dot star equals true um, basically the star means all commands so permissions dot star means all permissions commands um, so you want to be doing that with all your other plugins as well that require notes, things like essentials um, um, you could use things like locker stuff like that um, you, you're going to need your nodes for um, but you can see we still got the three basic setups, so you can have things like moderate or certain classes to say if you want a farmer to be able to do this, but not to be able to do the same as a shop owner can do, then you can set that up really easily on here by using the node system, um, which is a great thing about keeping these, these nodes. So you can see here the permissions.build equals false. On the admin, permissions star equals true, like I said. Um, but then on the user, so that'll be like your, your guys who just come into the server and they play, they build, you know, they're just your general users on your server. Um, and they could just be your friends, for example. Um, but you can see that that's a true. So we're going to start adding some nodes now. So on the admin, we're going to put, um, make sure that line lines up with permissions. We're going to put into there um, essentials dot star. Um, and we're going to put the, the two dots and then space true. Now the true just makes sure that it, makes sure that it works. Um, that kind of like activates it, so you can turn that off really easy without having to remove the node. Um, and we can do another one. 
essentials dot star dot star because there's also um, nodes that re require two stars um, and the star equals each part so it could be essentials dot player dot command if that makes sense um, so it could be I don't know four slash essentials spook a one one um, you know a command that would use that I'm I can't think of one off the top of my head but it'd be that kind of setup to it um, so we want that also to be true now with essential there's like loads and loads and loads of nodes that you can use in them um, commands that you don't want your basic users to use so basically what you do them they're, they're the ones that you don't want to put into your user things so you make sure that you don't have them in there but if you do have them in there you need to set them to false otherwise these guys are going to have access to commands that only your admin should really have um, or your moderator so they can just go and ban people or you know take people off the ban list if they want um, and that's things that you don't want your users just to be able to do because obviously you know you don't want them to have that control over your server because they, they could just end up completely destroying it and doing stuff to it that you, you, you just don't want them to do it to it um, so yeah so that's your basic setup for your admin now um, and it's very similar for all sorts of, of um, plugins so on my server for example I've got plugins like Locket so I want my users to be able to make their own chests and destroy their own chests but I don't want other users to be able to come in and destroy other people's chests um, for you guys who don't know what Locket is, it's basically a system that can lock doors um, to certain players and also lock chests so that um, say like you've got a new player and he can't go into someone else's chest and just start taking all their diamonds um, only the person that has access to to that chest is the one with the name on the front of the chest for the sign. It's a really good plugin, well worth getting, um, well recommended for, for for you know for your player's security. Um, so yeah, that's basically the the basic permission setup on this. Um, and then with the with the build commands um, for your default player, you can change the the actual message that comes up. So you can say. Um, Please sign up on our forums or something like that to stop them from actually going into your server and you know building stuff because you don't want like a random person to come in and that's the default permissions uh, it's default class for, you, for your users when they come on um, and obviously those guys that do come on on default you want them to be able to join from the actual forums and then only have the control that they really should have control and not any extra control so um, now we've got that basically set up, we're going to save that. Uh, uh, line, so it already automatically saves it. But if you just do Command S, which is the one with the funny square next to your spacebar, and then we close that. Now, if we rerun the server, I'll just change the IP address on it a second. And we'll open that. Um, where is it? Server IP. There we go. So we'll just set that to one two seven dot dot zero dot zero dot one. And that's basically your own computer's um, kind of IP address, sort of in in. It's sort of like just your own computer, if that makes sense. So other people don't access it. It's only generally you that can access that now. Um, so we'll start that. And we'll go into Minecraft. You can see it's all loading here. Now, if there's actually an error in in the, the text that you put there, so say you put a tab instead of a spacebar, which is a huge mistake. Don't ever do tab because tab doesn't work in .yml. Um, I don't know why, but it just doesn't. So you can use an online parser for that, um, which is really simple. You just Google online um, YML parser. And we'll log in. Oh, and we're doing updates. Oh no, great. That shouldn't take too long. So, this is like the basic setup of your server in in the, um, the actual console. You can see that permissions is loading here. Uh, it's now enabled. You know, if it's done that, that means it's working fine, which is great. Um, and that that therefore means that you shouldn't have really any issues with it. So we'll just log on to the server now.
and you can see that we're in there we've got the essential set up because it says you have no new mail um, and that won't happen with anything else and we've got real bad frame rate lag <laughs> but you can see now forward slash permissions and you can see all the permissions nodes and commands that you can actually use there so um, you can check like different players what they can do so we'll type forward slash permissions um, dump spook 811 and that tells you what um, nodes I can use pretty much um, so there you can see that I've got essentials dot star equals true and permissions dot star equals true so that means that I can use permissions bucket permissions um, in general um, and I can also use my essentials which will work fine now um, but you can also see there bucket dot command dot me um, equals true so that means that I can make other commands like set um, forward slash weather um, rain I don't think it works there anymore but yeah I see it's set to a sun because that's the way the server works it's kind of buggy like that um, you can see that I can make it night so time uh, time sorry night and you can see that I've changed it to night uh, now your default player wouldn't actually be able to do that so for example I'll show you that now if we reopen the plugin um, go back into that folder and reopen the YML and where that says spook there just want to sorry where it says admin there sorry you want to change that to user for example now just to, just to test your user um, then in the console after you save this close that in your console you want to type forward slash reload and that's basically reloading all the, all the um, all the plugins so they're refreshed and they've you know they got the new file so now I shouldn't be able to do that many commands so time day you can see that I don't have command uh, that access to that command anymore which is the sort of thing that will come up if someone types forward slash stop um, which will stop your server obviously you can see there that I don't have permission to do that and that if I think I should have permission then I should um, contact the administrator there so you can see there that it's basically denying people access to commands that you don't want them to have. So that's pretty much all for the, the for the permissions bucket setup. Um, there's not really much more else to it. You can add some color text to that, but I'm not sure how to do that. Um, but I will find out for you guys. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, um, and comment on any issues you get with it. If you need help, then let me know. I'm I'm always here. You can also follow me on Twitter at. G, um, at gapsmc and my personal twitter is at spook811 so thank you for watching like subscribe and goodbye